Well, this can't come soon enough. Let's begin. Now, like probably many of you, I'm actually paying rent. Not because I want to pay someone else's mortgage off, but because those lovely people at the bank will only lend me around 65 grand. And nowadays, that doesn't exactly go too far. And for that sort of money, I'd be lucky to get a broken down caravan in someone's front garden. Either that, or I don't know, maybe a few nights at someone like Vanessa Feltz's house. And therefore, obviously, I'd want to avoid both like the plague. But a lot of you landlords can actually be quite understandably, at times, quite picky. But occasionally, that does actually create problems for some people. I mean, for example, no children, no pets, and no benefits its claimants and maybe even I don't know no farting or whatever else you guys can think of but soon that could actually come to an end according to the Daily Express which to be honest you know I think would actually be a good thing because why should I'm sure the minority of bad tenants who either have kids pets or claim benefits ruin it for the majority of people who do exactly the same thing because I'm sure most people are actually good tenants and therefore get penalized because of the bad ones and bad tenants can actually come from all sorts of walks of life yes that's the one I'm gonna move in and not pay any rent yeah. Yes, uh, oh damn, there's no benefits. Ah, oh, sod it. I'll just put on a suit and say I work for Elon Musk or something. That'll work. The article also says that government plans to create a fairer, private rented sector have taken a leap forward, with the publication of a new white paper today. Tenants will have more power to challenge poor practice and unjustified rent increases, and could also be saved the expense of having to move as often from one rented accommodation to another. And landlords will also be outlawed from banning children, pets, and people on benefits from their properties, the PA reported. The fairer, private rented sector white paper marks the generational shift, according to the government, which will address the balance between landlords and the 4.4 million privately rented households across England. There unfortunately is no timetable for this at the moment, though hopefully it won't take too long. To be rolled out, that is, and equally, landlords themselves may actually need protection as well from bad tenants who either treat their home as a pigsty or may actually not decide to pay rent. And speaking of dodgy people, the guy in this video was caught out and thought he could get away with it by going to the papers. And unfortunately, though, a lot of them didn't actually see through his story and therefore seemed to take his side, but he didn't fool me. Anyway, subscribe to stay updated and I'll see you in the next one.